Hello everyone, Adi Simeon, Coldwell Banker. This morning I want to talk to you all about the difference between a conventional loan and an FHA loan. I'm also going to touch a little bit on a VA loan, just for veterans. But the main um, discussion for today on my video is what is a conventional loan and what's the difference between that and an FHA loan. So conventional loan is the loan that you get from a bank directly. It's purely a bank loan. You don't have to necessarily pay mortgage insurance. You will if you uh, uh, put less than 20% down. So if you put 20% down, there is no mortgage insurance. You get the best rates. If you put less, then you have to pay less than 20%. You have to pay mortgage insurance. Some banks actually will allow you to even put 3% down with no mortgage insurance, but they pay in it for you through the rate. They give you a higher rate and they pay in it. So there's always mortgage insurance because the bank wants to, to ensure that piece that's missing from whatever you put. If you put 5% down up to 20, there's 15% that they want to insure. And the reason being is if you default on the property and they have to take it back, they want to sell it quickly for 80% of the value, get their money back and they're out. And whatever is missing, they get paid by the insurance company. So that's why you have PMI, private mortgage insurance, on a conventional loan. On the FHA loan, so again, to talk more a little bit about the conventional, you can go up to 3% down, and but you have to have a perfect credit to get that. If your credit is not great, they may ask you to put 5% down, maybe 15%, 10% um, to, to make up for that risk. On an FHA loan, uh, which is backed by the government, you actually have to pay mortgage insurance regardless of what you put down. They start at 3.5% down, so you can do an FHA loan for 3.5% down, you have to pay mortgage insurance. Even if you put 20% down, you have to pay mortgage insurance. It doesn't matter. But the thing with the FHA, they will allow lower credits, and it's a loan backed by the government. So if you default on the property, they will pick up that difference between 3.5% you put down up to 20, which is whatever, 16 and a half they will pick it up and pay the, the bank that took that loan in case you default and they have to fire sell the property at 80% value. So FHA, you have to pay mortgage insurance regardless of how much you put down. Another thing with the FHA is you gain enough equity by paying off the loan and you are now at 80% loan to value. You have 20% equity in the property you cannot get rid of the mortgage insurance. You have to keep paying it until you refinance. With a conventional loan, if you pay down up to 20% of the loan and now you have 80% uh, loan to value, you actually can apply for getting rid of the mortgage insurance by calling the lender. They will send an appraiser. If the appraiser comes back and says, yes, you have 20% equity, they will get rid of the mortgage insurance without having to refinance on the FHA, you, you have to refinance it to get rid of it. So that's the, the little bit of a difference. And if you could do conventional, go with conventional. Rates are also better on conventional than FHA. You go to the FHA if uh, your credit is not great, you know, you don't have enough money to put down, that's when you do that. Another thing with the FHA that a lot of people don't know, yes, you have to pay mortgage insurance, but you also have to pay upfront mortgage insurance, which is sometimes uh, it depends, but I think it's about 1% and a quarter now that you have to pay mortgage insurance up front. That gets added to your mortgage, so you think, well, I don't have to bring it out of my pocket, but it gets added to your total loan amount, so your payment is a little bit higher because of that. When you do conventional loan, you don't have to pay anything up front. It's only a monthly payment based on your down payment. So that's, that's something that you need to know about. A lot of people don't understand that FHA requires a percentage of your loan amount to put it down up front and then you pay mortgage insurance monthly as well. So just keep that in mind. To end up and talk about VA, VA it's a loan that's being offered to men and women that serve for the, uh, for the military and for the government to thank them for that, they allow them to get a VA loan. 
VA loan, what it is, you just get a loan without anything. So you, you put zero down and you get a loan that's backed by the government. Again, if you default on it, they will pick up that 20% difference that the uh, bank requires. So that's, that's really very simple with the VA. You have to show that you are a veteran, you served in the military, and they allow you to get a loan with 0% down. That's pretty much all I had to talk about today. I hope it made sense. If you have any questions, please uh, write in the comments. And if you like what you hear and you want to hear more, please do subscribe to my channels, like my page, whatever. Follow me on Instagram. Thank you very much. Adi Simeon, Coldwell Banker. Bye.